Hello everybody and welcome to this video where today we are opening more mail. And this comes to us from the great Keith Phillips. I almost said where he lived. I'm not gonna. Okay. If you're not following Keith on Instagram, you should. I'll leave. Can I? Maybe I'll, I'll, I'll try to leave his Instagram down below. He makes amazing collages. He's been in the blood rag. Like, he's a great poet. He's a top-notch motherfucker, dude. I have no idea what's in here. We're going to find out shortly. Nope. Nope. Oh, I just hit myself in the face. Product placement, UPS.coms. So let's see, is there anything else in here? No. This is a nice fucking envelope. Ready post, you're killing it. All right, so now we have this. Let's do some surgeries. Okay, that's good enough. Let's see what all of this is. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, so we still we still got tape. We still got tape. Oh my gosh, there's all sorts of cool shit in here, dude. Oh my fucking god. What else do we got? Oh my god. Holy shit. We're gonna go through all this in a second. Dude, this is a fucking chunker, dude. My spell. New poems by Keith. E. Phillips. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, dude, that is funny. Okay, so, oh, this whole thing's great. Okay, so first off, he sent me this thing, and it's a poem called Going Postal. It says, Matt, get off the shitter and answer the door. It's not a tax collector, crazy ex, or some Jehovah's Witnesses. It's just some poor bastard about to go postal trying to deliver his last package. <laughs> he fucking signed it. Oh my god. This is on the fridge, dude. You just got you just got fridge status for that being as cool as that fucking was. That's fucking hysterical. Oh my god, dude. That cracked me up. Good job. And he has awesome... Oh, it's really thick. He's got the black end pages too, but he did some gold. Fancy fucker. Uh, to Matt, here is an early work with all its warts and flaws. New work is on the way. Awesome. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Oh, this has a dedication to Charles Bukowski. And a quote. It says, To create art is to burn and destroy ordinary concepts and to substitute them with new truths that run down from the top of the head and out from the heart. Damn. I like it. Okay, I'm going to read the first poem in my spell. I wonder when this came out. Is there a date? 2006. Oh, shit. Oh, and there's only 12 copies? Keith, dude. Legend, man. Shit. Okay, so here is this first poem. It's called Candle, Lantern, Light Bulb. I do not care if I write bad poems. I ask you, what is a good poem? What is a bad poem? A good one you get... I'm sorry, I fucked that up. A good one you get, a bad one you don't. I write life poems, the ancient soul's journey poems. I guess some journeys were good, some were bad, but the poem reflecting that journey can be neither good nor bad. I write about fleeting moments of a past long gone, familiar feelings expressed again, events which will reoccur many times over. This poem has been written before, even then, it was neither good nor bad. That's awesome. And I fucking love the line, this poem has been written before. Dude, I fucking, I, I feel ya, I feel ya there, man. 
all of these poems have been fucking written before, dude. It's just how we fucking see them at that time we're writing them. This is a fucking nice fucking book, dude. This is a chunker. Can't wait to fucking dig into that. I'm very excited. I'm very excited. Okay, so what else do we got here besides this thing that keeps sticking to me? Uh, let's see. An original paper collage, no title necessary, number 437 by me. Oh, shit. How, how do I... How do I get this out? Keith, dude. Oh, shit. There's all sorts of stuff in here. Oh, shit. What is fucking happening right now? Oh, my God. Some of this I think I'm going to need some info on. This says this, or the Buke is an original typeset broadside by BS or BOSP. It's a rare unfolded piece. Enjoy. That's this one? Holy shit! Holy shit! Get the fuck out of here! What? Oh shit! This is a collage. I thought this was just a print. No, that's a collage, dude. So this is one of Keith's collages like I was telling you about. And this is the number 437. And if you can see, you can see that it's cut onto there. Dude, fucking Keith, man. What the fuck? You're fucking killing it right now, dude. Oh my god. This is fucking crazy. This is totally fucking crazy. Ugh. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna read it. I gotta read it. It's called The Drowning. <clears throat> For five years, I have been looking across the way at the side of a red apartment house. There must be people in there, even love in there, whatever that means. Here blows a horn, there sounds a piano, and yesterday's newspapers are as yellow as the grass. Five years. A man can drown in five years. While the red bricks stand forever. I hear the sounds now, like dancing in the air. Great bladders of blood are being loosed in Mariposa Avenue. Sweat, drench, blah, 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 blah. Sweat drenches my temple like beads on a cold beer can as armies fight in my head. I see a woman come out of the red brick apartment house. She is fat and comfortable. The slow horse of her body moves under a dress of pink carnations, playing tricks with my better sense. And now she's gone, and the bricks look back at me. The bricks with their windows, and the windows look at me, and a bird on a telephone wire looks, and I feel naked as I try to forget all the good dead. The band plays wildly. Look away, look away, Dixieland. As the empty bladders of poison and bags of oranges over Mariposa Avenue and the cars run through them like poor snow and my pink woman comes back and I try to tell her, wait, wait, don't go back in there. But she goes inside as my bird flies away and it is just another hot evening in Los Angeles. Some bricks, a mongoose or two, chimera and disbelief. Dude, that line, the slow horse of her body moves, that is fucking nice. It's funny, too, because this is a typewritten, like, broadside here, because um, whenever the S and the T are together, there's, like, an imperfection in the typeset. But, yeah, it has his um, address right there. Like, wow, an original typeset broadside. That's fucking crazy, bro. Like, you have no idea. Thank you so fucking much for that, dude. And there's still a ton of stuff here that I do not know what it is. Oh, here's another little card by um, Hoso McCreesh. This was a guy in the scumbag thing from, I guess that was yesterday now. Another one from him. Oh, my effing G. Look at that. That's amazing. 
That is so fucking cool. Uh, Georgia Peckham and Charles Bukowski, Oil on Canvas, 2008. Funded with the support of the Bukowski.net members. Holy shit. That is so fucking funny. Look at them. That's great. That is fucking amazing. Love it. What's this? Oh, A.D. Wines. Days in Heaven, Nights in Hell. A new book from Propaganda Press. I wonder how old this is, because I need to go look for that. And this is, if your words are no better than silence, then it's best to keep silent. Slogan by Lana and Robert Humphrey. Published by Sword of Press, 2010. First edition, 50 number and printed in red font. Subsequent editions will be printed in black font. Yep. What is this? Charles Bukowski, circa 1978. The year I was born! Look at that. And then I guess there was a stamp made of him and they put it on here, or maybe it's pretend. I don't know. But that's fucking awesome. Holy shit. All of this fucking cool ass shit. Oh, dude, I see something in here that I know exactly what it is, dude. What does it say? Just keep answering the goddamn bell. And this is by Hosho. 2009. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. And then, what is this? The Prince of Tides, a fable by Charles Plymel. Oh yeah, this is that same place because the s and T are doing that thing. Oh yeah, what is the... Bottle of Smoke Press. That's right. So this is limited to 200 copies. That's fucking awesome. Jesus Christ, bro. You fucking came up with some fucking shit here, dude. Oh my god. Ah. And what's this? Fucking Dracula card? This fucking guy. Oh my god, that's so fucking cool. Oh my god, it's a top card. And then I see this and I know exactly what it is. 67B. Is this series two or three? Mona Loser. This fucking guy sent me a fucking garbage pail kid with the puzzle on the back. This is gonna, I don't know if he knows that I have a collection of garbage pail kids and I actually don't have this. I'll pull my box out one of these days and we'll go through it. Compliments of the author. That's really cute. I like this idea. This is a nice idea. Dude, Keith, you have just fucking blown my goddamn fucking mind. Oh, okay, everybody, because Keith is such a fucking legend, everybody needs to go and show that dude some fucking love. And this is fucking gorgeous. Keith, dude, I'm fucking telling you, man, this fucking guy. Gorgeous, dude. You, you are a fucking saint, bro. A fucking saint, bro. Oh fucking garbage pail kid on top of everything else this fucking guy dude and this this is fucking hysterical bro jesus fucking christ i'm at a loss for words i feel stupid almost right now i don't even know what the fuck to say so bro thank you so much i'm gonna put some of keith's information down below everyone give him love okay type right everybody and i'll talk to you all later I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.